Two fighter jets are rewriting the rules of war, one born from America's most advanced stealth program, the other from China's boldest military gamble. But only one will control the sky, and the reason might shock you. Every warplane is born from a nation's ambition, and these two jets are no different. The F-47 is America's answer to the future, built by Boeing to keep the U.S. at the top of the global sky. Across the Pacific, China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation created the J-36 to challenge that dominance and prove Beijing is no longer playing catch-up. These fighters are more than machines. They are national statements carved into steel. Every rivet, every circuit, represents decades of military strategy and technological rivalry. The F-47 carries America's legacy of global reach and unmatched power. The J-36 symbolizes China's determination to rise and meet it head-on. This is not just about aircraft. It is about who will write the future of air supremacy. The purpose behind a fighter defines its every detail. And here, both nations show their vision of war. America's F-47 is a dedicated air superiority fighter, built to succeed the F-22 Raptor and secure total control of contested skies. Its mission is clear, destroy threats before they can act and dominate the airspace. China's J-36 follows a different path. Designed as a multi-role stealth platform for interception, strike missions, and even leading aircraft teams into coordinated operations. This versatility shows China's belief in flexibility over specialization. While the F-47 aims to be the ultimate hunter, the J-36 is crafted to be the battlefield's mastermind. Both strategies are powerful, but only one will define future air combat. Inside the cockpit lies one of the most important design choices in modern warfare. The F-47 is built for a single pilot, supported by powerful onboard AI that helps them process threats, command drones, and make life-or-death decisions in seconds. China's J-36 takes a different approach, using a two-person crew seated side-by-side. -side. This allows one pilot to focus on flying and combat, while the other manages complex drone operations and battlefield coordination. It is a design built for teamwork and layered decision-making. America trusts human AI fusion, while China trusts two human minds working together. This difference reveals how each nation sees the future of aerial warfare, and in battle, that choice could decide who reacts first and strikes hardest. In a global arms race, timing is a weapon as powerful as any missile. America's F-47 is scheduled for its first flight in 2028, with full operational service expected by 2029. That means U.S. squadrons could be flying sixth-generation jets years before any rival. China's J-36, however, already took its first flight on the 26th of December 2024, giving Beijing a valuable head start in testing and development, but its expected entry into service is 2035, leaving a wide window for America to deploy first. This timeline battle shows two different strategies, rapid deployment versus long-term refinement. Whoever controls the skies first could shape air power doctrine for decades, and in this race, every year counts. Speed decides who strikes first, who escapes alive, and who controls the battle. The F-47 reaches speeds above 1,520 miles per hour, blending raw velocity with advanced stealth to stay hidden while moving fast. This balance gives American pilots the edge to attack deep behind enemy lines and disappear before radar locks on. China's J-36 is built for outright speed, blasting through the sky at 1,900 miles per hour. That extra pace makes it a deadly interceptor, capable of reaching targets before they know it's coming. But speed is more than numbers, it is a weapon that shapes tactics. America sees speed as part of a stealthy strike package. China sees it as overwhelming force that wins the first move. And in future dogfights, those first seconds could decide everything. How far a fighter can fly without refueling decides how deeply it can strike and how far it can project power. The F-47 has a combat radius of over 1,151 miles giving the United States the ability to launch missions deep into enemy territory or operate far from home bases. China's J-36 has a slightly shorter reach at 994 miles, designed mainly for regional dominance and rapid response missions. This difference shows two strategies. America prepares for global reach, while China focuses on control closer to home. In war, range means flexibility, surprise and endurance and the side that flies farther often wins more than just the battle it wins influence. Altitude is power, and the higher a jet can fly, the more control it has over the fight. The F-47 can soar to 65,000 feet, giving American pilots the advantage of striking from above 
and spotting enemies before they are seen. The J-36 climbs to over 60,000 feet, a slightly lower ceiling but still high enough to challenge air superiority. This small difference could matter when long-range missiles and radar locks are at stake. Higher altitude often means earlier detection and more time to react. In aerial warfare, those extra seconds can mean the difference between victory and defeat. And in this duel, the sky itself becomes a battlefield. Every curve and angle of a fighter's design hides secrets about how it plans to win. The F-47 is larger than the F-22, shaped with advanced stealth geometry and built to work seamlessly with unmanned drones. China's J-36 looks radically different with a trijet, tailless flying wing, double delta wings, and a low-drag fuselage built for efficiency. These design choices show two philosophies colliding. One focused on total stealth integration, the other on speed and agility. Each shape has advantages, one evades detection, the other cuts through air resistance. And in the next generation of combat, even a silhouette can decide who survives. In the age of radar and missile defense, the fighter that stays hidden lives longer and kills faster. The F-47 pushes stealth beyond fifth-generation standards, using all-aspect low observability, advanced electronic warfare, and signature management to disappear from enemy sensors. China's J-36 uses a different approach, relying on broadband stealth from its tailless shape, recessed exhausts, and infrared shielding. Both are designed to slip through detection and survive deep inside contested airspace. But stealth is more than just technology, it's a battle of who can strike unseen and vanish without a trace. And the winner of that battle often wins the war. A fighter's engine is its beating heart, and here the difference is dramatic. The F-47 uses two adaptive cycle turbofans, likely the XA-102 or XA-103, giving it the perfect balance of power, speed and fuel efficiency. China's J-36 relies on three WS-10C afterburning turbofans, pushing massive thrust and raw performance into its unique flying wing. This setup gives the J-36 more brute force, but the F-47's adaptive system offers smarter, more efficient power over long missions. The choice reflects each nation's priorities. America builds for sustained dominance, China builds for raw acceleration, and deep in the engine bay lies the soul of every mission. Super Cruise is what separates next-gen fighters from the rest. The F-47 can maintain supersonic flight beyond Mach 1.5 without afterburners, saving fuel and staying hidden. China's J-36 goes even further, supercruising at Mach 2.2 to turn speed into a deadly advantage. This means faster missions, surprise strikes and quick retreats. Super Cruise isn't just about raw speed, it's about flexibility and control. The fighter that stays fast longest will often decide who controls the sky. A fighter's sensors are its greatest advantage. The F-47 uses sensor fusion with AESA radar, electro-optical systems, and AI to spot and assess threats instantly. The J-36 rivals it with GAN AESA radar, EOTS, side radars, and strong electronic warfare systems. Both are built to see farther and react faster than ever before. The key difference is how quickly they process and share data in battle. In modern air combat, whoever sees first usually wins. Future air combat is about coordination, not isolation. The F-47 leads loyal wingman drones that extend its reach and firepower. The J-36 takes a similar approach, controlling drone swarms to overwhelm enemy defenses. This turns one fighter into a command center in the sky. It multiplies striking power and adds layers of attack. The jet that commands the swarm will likely control the fight and the outcome. A jet's power depends on what it carries. The F-47 holds beyond visual range missiles, precision munitions, nuclear payloads, and over 10,000 pounds of total load. The J-36 carries up to 12 air-to-air -air missiles, including the PL-17, in three internal bays. Both offer lethal versatility for multiple mission types. Payload matters because more weapons mean more tactical options, and in battle, the jet with the stronger punch often wins. Advanced technology comes at a steep price. The F-47 is expected to cost about $300 million per unit, reflecting its unmatched capabilities. The J-36 is far cheaper at around 70 to 80 million, letting China build larger fleets. This shapes how each nation plans for future wars. America bets on quality, while China bets on quantity, and when they clash, cost could be as decisive as combat power. The F-47 and J-36 are more than next-generation fighters, they are declarations of how two superpowers plan to win the future. America is building a hunter that fuses AI, stealth and dominance into one unstoppable platform. 
China is crafting a storm built on speed, scale, and relentless swarm warfare. Their battle isn't just about airspace. It's about global influence, deterrence, and control of the 21st century. And when these two finally meet in the skies, the winner won't just claim air superiority, they'll define the future of power itself. In the battle between the F-47 and J-36, technology, speed, and strategy will decide who rules the skies, but their rivalry is only just beginning. Subscribe for more deep dives into the future of military power, like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with others, and comment which jet you think will win.